this is some interesting art. This is interesting concrete. Yeah. That's not your normal concrete. It's an exposed aggregate concrete. It's a, it's a normal concrete. It's got a high level of GGBS. So this is different because this has got a, this is kind of a no. It's not different. It's the same. But when you when it's just cured differently because of the, the way you make um, exposed aggregate concrete is you put retardant on the face of the shutter. Right. And uh, depending upon whether it's been whether it was raining or what the thermal conditions. So although this is exactly the same retardant and that there, there's two lifts. Two lifts and which is why you get well, a different it, it, that, that that line is called a cold joint. Brilliant. So that that cold joint. So this will be they were, in other words this this will be poured on a different day to that. And and uh, that all of that pour has come out with slightly different texture to that one. Yeah. But actually in terms of the mix and in terms of the process it's identical. And this it shows that concrete is a kind of fluid, it's a, it's a sculptural material, that's why we kind of use it. This is this is your standard exposed concrete. This is this is another piece of concrete. This the man who made this has never made any concrete before. He's a landscape. God knows very proud of his concrete. So this is not doesn't have the same. It demonstrates it's slightly different. It's still got curvature, but it's not the same. And now, if you follow this curvature around, you'll see that this is actually made in horizontal pours. So we actually made the shutter in long strips and then actually poured all the shutter, the whole length of it, but only up to a certain height. So this is unusual. A lot of concrete is poured with vertical pores as opposed to horizontal. But I wanted to get this effect of this feeling it, uh, it's a kind of like massiveness and so that this actually makes it feel even more like a piece of masonry, like a stone sort of another piece of yeah. stone. a stone staircase you would find in a historic house so in a historic house you would go from the entry level which is the hallway up to the piano nobile which is there and that piano nobile with that staircase would be a stone stair in this case I've used concrete as my stone which it in, in fact it is yeah underneath the stairs is my my cold room which is my supposed to be the larder unfortunately it's full of not very larder like it's designed as a larder it's got no heating in it it's got a concrete stair and a concrete wall so it is supposed to be the coldest place in the in the house unfortunately it gets colonized by um which is true it's got a marble fe uh, shelf it seems to be colonized by spare bulbs <laughs> so it's not quite working as a larder uh, maybe it wasn't going to work for a larder because the kitchen's above it. But anyway, <laughs> I think it was thermally it was correct for a larder.